Welcome to the Risk Forever channel guys. The channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And in this series I will be sharing the best moves, strategies, tactics and players I find. So in this video I will show you how to potentially beat the Australian turtle strategy in just a few turns, or to get rid of any other player if possible, as you know that the fourth player is not really needed in the order for the balance of the game to be sustained. The game could be perfectly balanced with three players. So that the game wouldn't prolong, it's good to get rid of one of the players as soon as possible in the beginning of the game. So first of all you need to get a continent as soon as possible, it's important to be one of the strongest if you want to look for an opportunity to take someone out. So if possible capture it as soon as possible, but by doing so, make sure not to clear it out for someone. So always be careful. Another step after you captured a continent, is to try increasing the number of territories you have. As remember the more territories you have, the more troops you get. When you have 12 territories you start getting 4 troops instead of 3, and then every 3 extra territories from 12, you get 1 extra troop as well. And then just look for the opportunities, some players might try taking continents too fast, or end up quite weak in general. So in this game I noticed that after trading in a set, I will potentially be able to take either green or blue out with having a 10 troop set at 4 cards, I was very lucky to go before them, and that was another advantage I had. So then I just needed to decide for which player I should go for, and obviously the most suitable for me player was blue. So this is why I went for him. I not only got rid of an additional opponent who is not really needed in the game but at the same time I've got another continent for myself. And also if we look at the troop comparison, then before taking the blue player out I had 53 troops, and after taking him out I ended up with 50. So these three troops difference basically meant nothing. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this strategy valuable. And let me know your experience with it in the comments section down below.